Hello guys, it's Gambi here. Nice to meet you, music producers and sound lovers. I'm here to explain you uh, in a short time uh, how I made my latest track released by Moanka Records called Real Time. This is what it sounds like. Well, I'll try to do the video as short as possible, but uh, explain many things as possible also. Uh, I'll focus on the instruments I used and how I used them, but not in the plugins I, I used, only in the synthesizers, because if not, uh, it will be very extensive, the kind of master class. So, uh, let's start. Here we have the project. Here we have the project. As you can see, we got. I use uh, Logic Pro. Uh, I started with FL Studio a few day, a few years ago. Sorry, and Logic is uh, the one. It looks like as FL Studio. So adapt from one to the other was quite simple. And I really love this style, I made all my tracks with this one and I recommend it so much. So, let's start, we got a bunch of track stacks here, basses, piano chords, piano chords, rhythm, these I use them for the drop, as you can see here, the first drop and the second drop, just to make the track bigger. Then uh, the bats, I really like to use bats because it complements the tracks really nice, it gives kind of tension if you want, because if I like to open the cutoff of the of the plugins, uh, and also it, it combines the 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 sound of the the track, you know. So uh, I I use parts uh, a lot. Then we got the strings, which are simply two notes of the strings. Uh, the main notes of the track is a uh, is a uh, uh, B four here, and well, it's a B. And then B three, B three. So uh, it's just a legato uh, string, uh, and I really like to use them because it complements the track very nice. And if you find the the, the fundamental note of the track, it's it's uh, really awesome how it how it makes the track the track like uh, to to advance, you know. Then the kick and the sub, it's. Uh, really important tracks that really important uh, tracks and um, it's uh, when you start producing it's kind of difficult to combine them and not to have uh, anti-phase and these kinds of things but you just keep trying and you will find the the, the, the key how to do it uh, the percussion track stack clap one clap two close hi-hat open snare 909 and high tom um, just to do kind of feels you know and to give a, a bit more of groove 
And finally, the FX track, track stacks. I, I use lots of cashmere effects and sounds because it sounds really good and yeah, it helps you really a lot um, to complement the track. Finally, I, I, this is well, I, I didn't put the, the vocals on, on these on this project, I use another project to put the vocals to the end, not to show you the vocals, and I mute it now. So, first of all, the basses, and this is what it sounds like. We got four full tracks of four layers of bases. The third one, just an attack, you know, just to keep a bit of presence of the the bass. Then the second and the third one are low. We make the main body of the of the of the bases. The last one is uh, just uh, is another uh, base used for attack, as you can see here, but it gives a bit more of harmonics. So this is basically basic track stacks. Just uh, as as I as I told you before, I, I'm not into I'm not going in through the plugins I use. As you can see, I always use the same because I. I think it's better to use less plugins but knowing how to use them uh, rather than use a lot and do not really what to do. So as you can see I use always uh, the same uh, in this track. Uh, the bases I made them with Massive, the fourth of them as you can see here. And I have to confess that I use presets, yeah, I use presets from other people. Uh, I enjoy much, uh, much more uh, being creative in terms of making chord progressions or rhythm progressions or melodies rather than uh, making sounds. You know, I'm not a sound designer. I'm a music producer, so I use uh, presets from another producers, which I really like, and they they help me very much how I uh, to make my tracks. Then second, piano chords. The piano chords we got in here. Uh, I love pianos. I use pianos, I think, in every single track I made. I love house music and house music is made basically of sampling, strings and pianos. I try to do the biggest piano I can just uh, by another time, the layering technique, making many tracks with different sounds of piano uh, and combining them all together in one. Uh, let's see one by one first and then I'll try to show it uh, the complete uh, track stack. Soft piano going through high frequencies, emotional high piano, okay. First one then, the giant piano, low. The giant piano, but with a higher an octave, a twelve semitones higher. Okay. Then the M one, uh, using the fundamental notes of the chords. I love the M one piano. I do not got the 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 original one or, or, uh, for sure, but I got an emulation which is. Maybe it's not the best, but I really like to use it. And if you know how how to use then how to or what kind of plugins put in the the the, the track chain, it sounds really really good. This is the fundamental notes of the chord. That's basically, and then the chords. Let's see if we can hear that all together.
That's it. That's the the, the piano. Uh, I made them with the the giant and the grand piano, and then with the M1, as I explained to you. Then uh, the piano chords rhythm. This is the same. Uh, they are the same sounds, but as you can see in the name of the track text, they made the rhythm. They 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 made the main rhythm of the 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 tune. You know. And this it was, is what it sounds like all together. I'm I'm not going to focus very much in this one because it's exactly the same what I showed you before in this track stack but make with rhythm with rhythm patterns you know so it's just the same uh, with different uh, the same plugins but used differently obviously to give another kind of sound and to com complete the, the track in the in the drops and to make it bigger then we got the bad track stack we got a but high and but low. They made the the main chords of the track, uh, but I used the the bass as I explained it before, uh, just to give me a bit of uh, presence of or body in the in the track. coming from behind but then finally at the end of the drop this is the end of the first drop gives much more presence Here I started to open the cutoff again because the second drop was setting here, so I, I I wanted to create more tension, and in the last four here have the last four times I maintain the 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 fundamental now here just to give uh, yeah uh, this this kind of tension I'm always repeating you know. And that's it about the pads. I made them with Spire. Uh, the pads uh, is one sound I, I, I make myself. I don't, do not use presets. I make myself. I, I use um, many voices. And the, uh, as I explained to you, the cutoff to open it or to close it, rather to give uh, the kind of sound I, I like. The strings. Uh, Back to house music, the string is another main part of the house music, so I use it here I'm making the fundamental note of the song, which is B here, as you can see, and just with the track making the higher and one the lower, 12 semitones higher and lower, and just to maintain this kind of uh, uh, the, the same note, you know. Then the kick on sub bass track stacks. Uh, combining the kick and the sub is one one of the hardest things while making a track. But when you know how to do it, it's just repeating itself. You know, uh, I try to uh, search my kicks, which are in the same tone, in the same key as the track because it helps really much um, the combination of, of the, the, the whole sound, you know, with the sub bass. 
and I try to uh, yeah to make uh, to put them at the same tone at the same key of the of the, uh, of the track. Then uh, the sub bass is made with massive. I think I made also this this uh, preset, but I cannot show you now because it's freezed. Uh, so this is what it sounds like. Uh, not mm, really many things to explain here. Uh, just a bunch of EQing here for the kick, and uh, I start with the CLA because if not, my my laptop would explode. And then finally, well, not, not the last one is the percussion one. Uh, in this one, I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tracks of percussion. We got the first clap, second clap, close hi hat, um, and I combine them together to give this groove. It's uh, like a standard groove, you know, uh, the, the the snare, the clap, and the hi hat going. To tsk, 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 tsk. And and this high tom I really like is it's, it's a, gives uh, another another sound another combination to the whole mix you know of the of the precaution uh, track stack and finally the effects which I don't have anything to explain they are uh, effects coming most of them from Kashmir as you can see I really like. Cashmere, tra uh, cashmere sounds that uh, they are they fit really well in my tracks. They are very well made and uh, got uh, bunches and uh, tones of sounds. It's it's awesome, and obviously it's it's really necessary to use these effects because it uh, makes the track the track just combine together. You know, uh, that's basically the. Uh, the main parts of this track, you know, uh, there's not many more things to explain. Uh, this track is, uh, uh, I, I really like doing it. It's quite a, 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 a I think it's that I started it in maybe in October or in November 2018, and it's finally released a week ago, the 19th of April 2019. So it got uh, many months of working in here, you know. But I really enjoy making this track and finding the vocal and uh, making it, you know. So, uh, that's it guys. That's it for my part. It was nice to show in very short of time uh, how I made this track. Uh, it was really awesome. It's the first time I do it. I apologize if I do it wrong or if I not do it really well. But... Uh, I enjoy also doing this kind of um, explanation masterclass as you want to, to know it. But that's it. Thank you very much to to see it. Uh, my name is Kambi. You can follow me on my social networks, Instagram, Kambi Music, on Spotify, Kambi, on YouTube, Kambi Music, and on SoundCloud also, Kambi Music. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.